brand new arc, new transfer students, but a Hyoka girl, she's not really. It's Hime that's the transfer student. What's happening? We also have another church member named Sherry that's showing up using these golems, just messing stuff up. And yet again, Alistair, Director General, just allows these goddamn illegal immigrants just cross the border so nilly willy. Why? Someone as so omnipotent and, you know, powerful as him, why is the security in Academy City so bad? And we're constantly sending these 14 year old kids to save the balance of magic and science before an all out war happens. It's kind of crazy to me, which makes me think that maybe Alistair's doing this shit on purpose. Right now, Kuroko was fighting Sherry for a bit. And then Misaka showed up and saved them. They've kind of all dispersed. And we're trying to figure out, like, what is the mystery going on with Sherry and Hyoka? Let's begin today's reaction. Psych. Yo, Hyoka sus. Golem. Alright, Index got her lunch. You good at video games, Index? She thinks everything's a TV, if there's like a screen on it. Vending machine's a television. This is a television. Hmm. Himigami. Be careful. Cut. Very suspicious. Uh, he must have be careful. Uh, I don't feel good. They are cute. This is some, you know, day to life shit. We're gonna fucking, you know, pull some plushies for index during a date. The fuck? Index and bunny suit incoming? Cosplay print club. I mean, Index is pretty much always cosplaying. Other people probably see Index and like, what the fuck is she wearing? She wants to take some pictures? Cosplay costumes. All right. Bunny, Index and coming. He's probably gonna open it up and see the girls dressing, changing again and say, Kya, hentai and get slapped. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, he won't fuck up again. Let's see. Bruh. We're probably still gonna get slapped. Just my luck. Jesus Christ. Jesus key. Hello. What did I do? Fuck I do? You know... Hyoka, for someone as prudent as her, it's kind of crazy that she chose this fucking outfit for the picture, man. She is not shy at all. She chose the sluttiest outfit on purpose for fun. Good memories. Not really. This is the life of a fucking neat that doesn't go to school and just does whatever they want. Like, the life of a student is study, study, study. Then after you're done studying, you go to a cram school, study, study, study. Then you go home and you pass out. Then you repeat. With the glooming threat of if you don't get a good mark, you're going to be fucking homeless. And that's your entire fucking childhood. Yep. Uh-oh. So, Toma doesn't get... So, I guess Justice sends signals to other people saying flee the area, but Toma doesn't get it because of his Imagine Breaker? I don't get it. Nothing. Imagine broken. No, just tell me. Like, just fucking say it out loud. Don't waste my fucking time. You can tell me right now. Imagine Breaker. There you go. Sherry. Sherry is in here. Alright. I wonder if Sherry also gets the telepathy. Because, like, this is pretty cool that you can reach a lot of people through the telepathy. Kind of like silently too, right? Without having like a broadcast alert saying, Danger alert, danger alert, terrorist alert. Then they would kind of alarm the terrorists. They're like, oh shit, they're on to me. But if you can't selectively, you know, filter out Sherry, then she also fucking heard it too. Huh? 
It's the eyes. It's the eyes that she sent out. She's obviously after Index. Some magic bullshit. Yep. <laughs> Wonder what Hyoka's response to this will be because she shouldn't be aware of anything related to magic. And Himegami also stated that, like, be careful. Something cutie. Because clearly she's hinting that Hyoka is the one to be, be careful at. Like, uh, who's really the bad person? Party. <laughs> Just my luck. How do they control all that? What the fuck are you gonna do, Index? Can she fight? Can she use magic and just like fight? She can't, right? The only time I've seen her pop off is in like Johan's pens mode. You don't use magic. We cancel that shit. You are lucky because you're unlucky. Yeah, Hyoka doesn't know what magic is. <laughs> Sherry? <laughs> oh, Sphinx is here too, I didn't realize. Where the fuck was Sphinx during the cosplay shoot? Maybe in, you know, Index's clothing. Bro, they were in sync there. <laughs> Dude, Index can't fight for us, can she actually? <laughs> Oh, okay. We got Misaka and Kuroko here. Is Misaka gonna think that we're cheating on her? Is she gonna get jealous? Hmm. Oh, damn. This is the first impression? This is the first time we're having Misaka and Index actually kind of meet and interact, right? あんたね、初対面の相手にいきなり品がないってどういうこと?おお、知り合いなの。ワイフウォール。トーマと会いたいどんな関係?ちょっと。あ、ルーメイ?あ、ドンナ。ちょっとルーメイ?あ、ドン
Isn't that the uh, teacher we saw last episode? The one where I made a joke of like, what the fuck? She teaches, but she also has a job, right? It is. <laughs> oh, fuck. That's a grenade. <laughs> That's what you get for relying on fucking military weapons, I guess. You fucking dropped a grenade on yourself, dumbass. Ooh, that grenade took everybody out. Yo, teacher, you good? Let's save your asses. It's Grant. Punch it, Toma. Punch the golem. Let's see it. Will the golem just, like, be destroyed in one shot? Let's go, Toma. Imagine break. Oh, Sherry knows. Oh, fuck. They came prepared for this, I think. If she knows, then clearly she's not gonna just send the golem in and it's just gonna get destroyed. Then you're not with the key to the imaginary number school district. Then you're not with the key. The key. Hmm? What the fuck is the... <laughs> Toma simply being Imagine Breaker proves that he's not with the key. Unless the key is supposed to be Index or something, but like, so, uh, the wording here is kind of interesting because like, is she basing this assumption based on how he's Imagine Breaker? Or because he's alone right now? I don't fucking know, but this sounds really important. The key. Maybe she's after the key. Hyoka. I think she is the key. I think whatever she's talking right now, it's gotta be Hyoka. It's not Index. Let me break that fucking illusion of yours then. Ooh, Sherry. <laughs> yeah, you're part of the same church. Like, the church just straight up wants to start a war then. There's no more fucking balance of, you know, magic and science. She's been sent by the English church to just start a fucking war? All right. I'm not too sure based on the way that she's talking about the church, right? Like maybe she didn't take orders, but she's just crashing out and she's just trying to blame the fucking church, right? Yoka. The key? Maybe? Targets? Because she's a target. slow motion what the fuck was that slow motion and then headshot Bop. not gonna lie it's pretty fucking funny to me the abrupt oh shit what the hell is that the key is that is that the key i don't know oh oh whoa, 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 whoa. yo kazakiri you see your face your glasses? More like your fucking brain. Where is it? You're not aware? This is new to her? She has no idea. Huh, she doesn't even know that she could be the key. That's interesting. What's that shape? This is a triangular prism? I don't know. Don't run towards her. What the fuck are you- <laughs> Of all places to run, you run directly at the fucking golem and the blonde woman that did the attack rather than running the other fucking way. Holy shit, you're stupid. <laughs> take him out, Eddie's. Eddie's, take him out. Yeah, deserved. Yep, you deserve that shit. Fuck you, dumbass. <laughs> this is true. She doesn't have no brain. We gotta understand. She literally has no brain. Just gets back up. You know, we're talking about golems and shit right now with Sherry's power, but it's looking like Kazakiri Hyoka might be also similar to like a doll or some kind of golem. I see no blood, I see no injuries being taken. She just gets propelled back up like a fucking puppet and runs away. Hmm. 
滑稽な狐を駆り出しましょう Toma can't imagine break this rubble Alright, Kuroko is still here There's a lot more other civilians though, yeah We got signal? Sensei! Why can Himegai not read for Sensei can? Yep, that's the one. Does not show up. What about those pictures though? In the pictures, she did show up, but in the security camera, she doesn't. She also just kind of disappeared out of nowhere once last episode too. This some fucking vampire shit where like you know like you show up in front you show up in front of a mirror and you're not really there or like you have no like shadow casted either. What is this? I don't know. Yoka special. Okay. Bioelectricity again. Yada yada. <laughs> I love, I love Sensei even fucking say yada yada there to be like, yeah, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Uh huh. And a bunch of other bullshit. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Sure, why not, Sensei? Mm. They're superimposing. You're telling me the. This like Esper aura that's emitting. They're overlapping, cascading. Somehow Hyoka was formed. What the fuck? I thought this is for like searching and sensing other people's powers and detecting, but we're creating. <laughs> Way back. How old? <laughs> yeah, what's that triangular prison thing? Is that the key? He doesn't know at all. She was shocked. But Sherry knows. <laughs> What is she? How do we define her? Just artificial human. Yeah. Damn, Sensei! I feel like this is not what Toma's gonna accept though. Similar to how we would never accept that the Misaka clones, even though they all share a hive mind, there's so many of them, it's still unique and distinct to us. I don't think Toma's just gonna let this fly. I think she's fucking stupid and she got huge titties so far. That's it. There it is. There is that Toma that I know. He would never allow this to happen. No matter what, right? He was gonna find a way to save her. Did Sensei expect that? It was a test. It was a test. Sensei fucking knew. Yeah, of course. We've seen time after time how Toma treats life differently. Thanks, Sensei. Bye bye. I love Sensei so much. She's such a delight. Oh god, <laughs> what's she doing, bro? How do we get that chunk of the head back? And like, won't she become aware since she's seen this? Like up until now, she thought she was a regular human. Now she saw a fucking prison thing just spinning in her fucking head. Like, what's she gonna say? Oh, it's healing up? No glasses, though. The glasses just form. Okay, sure. So what just happened there, Hyoka? What do you think just happened? Got To key to the imaginary what district? Imaginary number school district is something I don't think I've really heard of before, but she is a requirement to unlock this place. And if she wants to start an all-out war, and this to be like the catalyst, something in the imaginary school number school district must be so important. Oh, fuck. VLC? 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 Here we go. 
何なのかしらね虚数学の書いてみれば正体はこんなものなものを大事に抱え込むなんざ crazy to hold to someone like her I mean, she wants to start a war. She's not a good person. Ooh, I mean, she ain't wrong. She's kind of right about that, but it still feels mean. Toma. Toma. More parts. The golem can just reconstruct like that too. Okay, you're in the golem the same. Yeah, you and Ellis, right? There's clearly parallels here. I made the comparison to like her being like a doll. It's doll golem. But the difference here is that Ellis just listens to your commands. It doesn't have really like a will of its own. Hyoka, I think, does. All the slice of life moments. Casting up to us now. Toma, where are you? Toma! It must break! I heard it. I love that sound effect. The hero is here. Ooh. Yeah. How'd he block it? He's facing towards Yoka. Yeah. Oh, he's so fucking. He's so fucking cool. He's just holding it. I thought that he like countered the punch or something, or maybe he was like, but he's just holding it. Stand down, Alice. Stand down. And I think that because the golem itself isn't completely destroyed, it's most likely the magic to control the golem, right? That's what we imagine broken. The hero's here, baby. Let's go. The end. It's kind of funny how they prolonged that at the end. <laughs> he said his line, and they all just sat there for like fucking three seconds, just nothing fucking happening. <laughs> it's all right now. I'm here. <laughs> That's another episode of Index, and now we have figured out the secrets of what Hyoka is. It was kind of a red herring not really i mean a red herring would imply that hyoka was actually never important but she is very important to sherry and maybe beyond the key to the imaginary number school district and from there if, she, if sherry can get access to it she can create this flashpoint you know she wants to create be like the catalyst for an all-out war and i don't really think that she necessarily represents the english puritan church her wording sounds like she just crashing out and she just wants chaos and she wants to drag both the church and you know it's basically science and magic to a war wonder why alistair just lets people like that just in maybe there's some security loophole that he really can't do anything about but i have a feeling that maybe he's just doing this shit intentionally there were some funny fan service moments but beyond that hyoka is like Whole identity, Sensei asking, like, this person pretty much isn't even a human. Are you still trying to save? And Index, sorry, Toma constantly has these monologues and thought processes where he would see that he treats every life, even if they are a clone or this doll golem thing, right? They're still all precious. So he's going to figure out a way to save them. And fantastic entrance at the end. Fucking sick. That's it for me. If you're still here, though, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.